The truck you see behind me is the latest iteration of what Daimler Trucks uh, North America and actually globally is doing for autonomous semi-truck uh, technology. Uh, this is what they call a Gen 2 truck as far as sensors are concerned. And uh, this truck is still kind of learning. But uh, let me show you some details about this truck. Let's walk around really quick and so you can kind of get an idea of what's happening. So first of all, uh, currently in production, there are no trucks with uh, like level three or level four autonomy built into it. So what the trucks are currently doing is basically level two. And obviously you have to define what are those levels mean. So level two is what they call Detroit Assurance 5.0, which basically adaptive cruise control, start stop, lane departure warning system using radar and cameras. Now this truck, the whole goal of it is to be level four autonomous. That means that the truck would be able to drive itself and be able to respond to emergency situations by itself, but within a geofenced area. So it cannot go everywhere and anywhere and any time. I'm Adeka Friesinger. I'm the director project lead for autonomous vehicles here at DTNA. So what you see here is actually the second generation of trucks that we're developing right now with Truck Robotics that we're using on the test tracks today um, and will be using down in New Mexico actually on our, um, on our test roads. And those trucks actually have the second generation of the sensor suite now installed on them. And you actually can see that they're directly integrated now um, with some, some prototype uh, 3D printed parts in, in the roof cap. Okay. And what we have on this truck is actually eight uh, different types of uh, lidars, um, three on each side, two, uh, one in the front, one in the back. You have uh, 10 radars on the truck, um, also different types of radars. You have all the way from short range radar to mid range radar, and then all the way to ultra long range radars. And then we have 12 cameras in addition on this truck as well to really have the big, uh, the um, a, a big picture of different types of sensors on this truck that all come together to perceive the environment. Oh, very cool. So what is the goal behind this truck? You talked about like level four autonomy. Can you explain the level four a little bit more? Sure. So what we understand under level four and what is actually the SAE standard is that level four means autonomous driving, meaning driving without a driver behind the wheel actually, um, under certain con conditions though. Or uh, geofenced un under certain yeah, areas. On certain routes, yeah. in certain weather conditions, um, and really making sure that the truck is certified for those road conditions. Um, and, and the truck that you see here is actually level four intent, um, which means that they don't have all the safety a critical features just yet but they can drive themselves. but it's working there yeah. it's working there exactly oh. and they can drive themselves under the supervision of two um, safety drivers actually in the cab so let me show you what's going on with this truck um, you see many, many sensors around it. Uh, if you see something like this, that means it's radar. If you, um, there's another one up here by the mirrors. Yes, this truck still has mirrors because, well, these test vehicles have drivers full time inside, you know, working with them and programming with them. Then um, if you see a sensor like this, this is a LIDAR or laser radar system. This one is kind of a 360 degree system that kind of scans ahead. You have more radar sensors here around the front. Look by the um, windshield right there. There's many cameras inside the windshield and up top there's a long range radar. And on the sides, let's walk around really quick. You see these kind of silver sensors up there? Those are luminars uh, lidars, which is kind of a, not a 360 degree lidar, but kind of a focused beam. And they're pointing forward and backwards. So a ton of sensors. Tell me briefly about like the software packages. So you have two different options. Yeah, so we actually partner with Torque Robotics now for one and a half years, and we're co-developing them together, um, us on the vehicle platform side, them on the software side. And just recently we announced that we actually have a second software partner now with Waymo, mm -hmm. um, where we also provide basically the vehicle platform and they're providing their software on it, which they call Way the Waymo driver. Okay, so, and ultimately I guess the goal is that this truck 
I mean, maybe even without a driver or maybe a passive driver that's not engaged um, can deal with emergency situations as well, right? Exactly. Yeah. So basically the goal is that the truck can deal with all types of situations on the road as comparable to that best exemplary driver that you have out there today, uh -huh. right? And ultimately with that, making the road safer. Um, because we're really taking the standard of a human truck driver today and apply it on a lot of trucks that are capable of that, of really uh, making the right decisions at any point in time. Do you have like a time that you're targeting yet or when, when is this coming? So um, we are definitely saying that it's not going to be anytime soon, and we're, but we're also definitely saying that it's going to be within this decade. Uh -huh. um, and what is really important to us that safety is going to drive that timeline. And it's not about making headlines and not, it's not about being the fastest in this race. It's about uh, driving standards and try, um, developing something that is safe and reliable at any point's notice. I hope that gives you a kind of a perspective into what's happening. So basically the latest from Daimler trucks is that, you know, this, this truck is not driving itself yet. They're working on it. They're combining software, sensors, and actually a big suite of sensors, as you see on this truck, to actually allow it to reach that level for autonomy soon. We just know, don't know exactly when. And if you want to know more stories about this truck and everything else pickup truck related, go to tfltruck.com.